break-even dollars. Okay, so how do we get to that? We still use contribution margin information. Remember the 120 earlier? For every event you sell to customer, you're able to generate contribution margin $120 per event. So that 120, we use that number divided by sales revenue, 200. This gives us contribution margin ratio, the upper formula there. So we understand this by, let's say it's points. How much is this? Somebody give me the number. It's 0.6, right? Okay. Thank you. So this 0.6 means for every dollar of sales generated from customers, we're getting 60 cents of contribution margin. For $2, we're getting 1.2. $3, 1.8. $4, 2.4. Okay, so this contribution margin ratio, we use that to divide fixed costs. So earlier we had fixed cost $12,000. This will give us directly the dollar amount that we need to make in order to break even. Sales in dollars. Okay, so not in events, but in dollars. Remember earlier we had 100, should be 200, 20,000. So the 100 events we got earlier, each and every event we generate sales revenue $200. The break-even sales should be 200,000. And now we're getting this by these two formulas. First one, really, we're just using contribution margin divided by sales revenue. So that gives us, per dollar of sales, how much we're getting as contribution margin. So if contribution margin is 0.6, that means the 0.4 is the fixed cost portion, if we're setting it as the break-even point. Okay, so this 0.6, the larger this number is, the more we're able to cover the fixed cost, and we want to know how many 0.6 we need to have in order to cover this $12,000. So this at the end will give us the sales in dollars, the break-even sales that we need to make in order to not have loss. So just another way to look at the problem, if not in the break-even units. If we directly, the problem directly asks you what is the break-even in sales dollars, and you calculate contribution margin, use it to divide fixed cost, you should be able to directly get this dollar amount. So this is not in units, this is directly the sales volume, sales value. Okay, let's see what's the numbers here. Fixed cost divided by contribution margin ratio. Again, the ratio is per dollar of sales, how much is the contribution margin we're generating, which is 0.6, and then use the 0.6 to divide fixed cost. So we want to know how many times fixed cost is over the ratio to get this 20,000 sales dollars. Because for every dollar, we're getting 0.6. Every dollar, we're getting 0.6. So we want to know how many dollars we're trying to get so as sales revenue in order to cover the $12,000. Okay, I know it's a lot of numbers and formulas, so let's just go from top to bottom again. First part we covered here, contribution margin. Again, the differences between revenue and variable costs. So this is really the portion the company is getting as sales volume increases of course, your variable cost also increases, but your contribution margin also accumulates. If sales is 200, variable cost is 80, for every event you're able to held and provide to customer, you're generating 120. So the more number of events happens, the more contribution margin you're generating, and this contributes to covering fixed cost, $12,000. Okay, so the next question here is we wanna know what is the break-even units we need, the co company needs to have in order to cover this $12,000? So we calculate contribution margin 120 and use this to divide fixed cost. So you should be able to calculate your break-even units 100 events for the problem in the textbook. Okay, now another way to look at this problem if we're not calculating units, but we're calculating sales, break-even sales in dollars, and we get contribution margin ratio first which is just the relationship between sales and contribution margin. Remember this part is 120, sales is 200. 
So for every dollar of sales, we're generating 60 cents of contribution margin. We use that 60 cents to divide fixed cost, again, $12,000, to figure out break-even sales, $200,000. So all of these, the concept really is just getting to break-even level. It's just that we're understanding it either in break-even units or directly in sales dollars. If you get break-even units, then you still have to multiply break-even units by 200 in order to get to this $20,000. So this is a shortcut to get to sales in dollars. This is a shortcut to get to the break-even units. Exactly, 40 over 50, this is the CMR, contribution margin ratio, and then you got it as 0.8, right? 0.8, this is the ratio, and use that to divide the fixed cost, which is 240, to get the break-even sales. 